Hello everybody, Shasnev8 here, and today I'm just doing a little update on this. I'm testing it again with a rotary cannon and a, um, uh, ro sorry about that, rocket launcher. Um, I'm not testing it with a Bertha cannon, I already know it won't survive a Bertha cannon shot. Um, real quick, I just want to clarify, I always use armor-piercing rounds when testing, because it's armor, and these are designed to pierce armor, and... It's very true that if you use a different type of ammunition, for example, standard kinetic rounds, they might not, you know, do as much damage as these rounds are doing, because these are armor-piercing. They're designed to penetrate armor. Therefore, they are the perfect thing to test armor with. And yes, it can stop a rotary cannon, but not a rocket launcher. Give me a second here. I need to move it away from this so I can just uh, prove something off here in a second. That should be good enough. No. That, this won't stop a rocket launcher. Now, I had one comment, um, and please feel free to send me comments and critiques and ideas, and I will be happy to respond to them. But, here is the response. And I'm going to read it exactly as it was typed. How is this useful? Why you need to fix blocks if destroyed? Blocks do not pass through additional shots. The only downside of destroyed blocks is that liquid permeable, which means the liquid will go through it. You need welders around devices, not armor. All right, fair point. Um, however, you're speaking about kinetic ammunition. I am, in fact, using armor piercing. And armor piercing does go through two blocks. And in case you say, Shadow, you already had those damaged before you did that. I will walk right back over here after spawning it back in. All right, no damage, no damage, no damage. Firing? They do, in fact. And as you can see, they actually keep going. And to prove another thing, I'm actually doing this to change time, I do have vehicle damage on. And so, yeah. You can see I'm not making this up. Like, this stuff works. I also have infinite electricity because I didn't want to make this... I don't like working with actual electrical efficient equipment. So you're going to need a lot more power to run these things than I actually have. Like, way more. Like, you're probably going to need a... For a play about this big, you're probably going to need a single medium battery. But I don't care to test it. Um, at least right now, anyways. That's the next few iterations I'm working on. However, I do, I do think you made a fair point. Uh, Self-repairing systems would be useful... But the point is, is that with this, you don't need self-repairing systems because if a system breaks, you can repair it quickly, by hand. And because these will stop that battle cannon on that enemy vehicle from tearing ring, ring all your systems apart. And by the way, yes, this is armor-piercing ammunition. Here, let me just open the, just back up. Armor-piercing. Bonk. No damage. Vehicle damage still on. Um, but yeah. Guess what? It can fix itself. fix itself. That's the point of the armor. It's not supposed to be the most efficient thing on the planet. It's supposed to fix itself from taking damage, and it does that rather well. God, the annoying thing about um, the way I have these in the... I, I keep these separate from this thing. But because of that, they uh, can move around, as you can see here. 
and they uh the uh, the light machine guns kind of bounce onto the sides but yeah but they work well so yeah now you want a valid point yeah they don't work against the light version of this armor doesn't work against a heavy auto cannon it's not supposed to because i designed these originally for space engineers um and after 46 iterations i basically gave up or no i got bored of working on it and then moved on to other projects um but in the end i came back to this in stormworks expecting it to only be i'm actually stuck uh accepting it expecting it to only be able to stop light arms fire like it was intended to do because i didn't think these welders would be very powerful and it can stop rods or battle cannons now sure some boats will have and it was also originally designed for you know spaceships and stuff um but i was planning on building a boat with it and i'm not gonna do that because i don't feel like spending time doing that but yeah there's also this other version here that's multi-layered that I'm pretty sure would be able to stop an artillery cannon if I tried. So that's actually what I'm working on next. I'm also working on another one to remove this weak point in the middle and find another way to hold it in place. I do think that self-healing systems could be very good for light vehicles. For example, the M18. For example, if you're making like an M18, something similar to that, if you don't know what it is, it's an open top tank destroyer. Um, it could work, but otherwise, I think that there are better things that could be used. Um, I did get another comment, and I would like to respond to that one as well. Uh, the other comment was, you're a genius, thank you. Um, I do have to mention it, because I said I would mention every comment I got on it, but uh, thank you. Uh, this was the first iteration of this, and I made it in five minutes, and I regret making it, but it's it's cool, so that's all I care about. And it's designed for fun anyways, but yeah. Just remember, guys, before I pop off here, I'm using armor-piercing ammunition, except for the rocket launcher, because you can't change the ammunition for a rocket launcher. At least not yet. So, thank you all so very much for watching, and yeah. Like, subscribe, share if you want. Check this out on Steam. Link to it will be in the description again. Uh, just wanted to keep you guys informed on what's going on. Uh, as I get more of these comments, I'll probably save them to make longer videos rather than these quick off ones. But I had to make a quick addendum and update. So thank you all so very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.